Hey hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sunny Savita, and I'm back with another exciting and important video. So guys, in this particular video, we'll discuss about the different different retrieval techniques of the rag pipeline. In my previous videos, I was talking about the re-ranking method uh, of the rag pipeline. I discuss various re-ranking method. Uh, and uh, if you don't know about it, definitely you can check out uh, with my previous session. Or don't worry, even I will show you uh, inside this video itself. Now guys, uh, based on that, I got uh, so many uh, comments, so many messages and all. Sir, can you uh, discuss about the retrieval, uh, retrieving technique as well? So uh, first of all, guys, we'll have to understand what is this retrieval, right? Uh, I will let you know the uh, concept of the retrieval. Although we have already uh, discussed about it in my re-ranking uh, and all. But again, I, I can explain you that particular part. Then uh, after that, okay, after understanding this retrieval concept, uh, we'll discuss the different different method of retrieving the document from the database, from the vector database, okay? So uh, let me introduce the syllabus. Uh, so here is the complete syllabus, guys. So we are talking about this retrieval inside the rag, and this is the syllabus, the different different uh, topic. So first, uh, we'll discuss about what is retrieval, then how retrieval works. Then basic retrieval pipeline. Uh, I think we all know about this basic basic retrieval pipeline and all. Uh, we have uh, implemented so many times. Then contextual compressor retriever. Uh, it's a retriever uh, from the Langchain. Uh, I will show you all the retriever and all from the Langchain and Lama index. Then uh, self query retriever. It is one of the important retriever. Okay. Then parent document retriever means small to big retriever. It is also very useful. Uh, retriever and definitely we should learn about it also then a sentence window search okay sentence window search and auto merging retriever this two retriever actually you will find out inside the llama index yes so uh, these many things uh, i'm going to discuss so i will take around uh, three to four video uh, so uh, in the first video in this particular video we'll discuss till fourth point and then in the next video we'll discuss about the self query then parent and in the final video We'll talk about this sentence window sentence window search and auto merging retriever now apart from this one guys we have one more a very important uh, retriever that is called hide okay uh we are actually uh, we generate the hypothetical document uh this is uh, also very important retrieval and definitely i will include it inside my retrieval topic and i will create a video on top of it as well i hope this a uh, syllabus is clear to all of you now first of all we need to understand where this retrieval exists and whatever thing we have learned so far right uh this re-ranking and all so how we can relate this re-ranking with this retrieval so each and everything i will teach you over here inside this particular video guys so first of all let me show you my youtube channel and there uh, let me uh, show you all the videos related to the re-ranking and all and then we'll come to the retrieval topics so uh, here guys, uh, if you will go and check with my YouTube channel, if you will search about Sunny Savita, uh, you will get it. And uh, this uh, is the uh, topic, right? Related to the re-ranking and all. And I'm uh, keeping all this advanced topic inside one specific playlist. The name is advanced rag. Okay, I will create it and this all the video, right? In total, I have recorded seven video with respect to this advanced rag and all. Now, uh, I will record a couple of more video. Uh, so, after this uh, retrieval, I will come to uh, this uh, evaluation and all, RAG evaluation and couple of more topics like differences between RAG and chatbot. There are so many things which is uh, uh, like which is in my mind and definitely I will discuss the whole uh, sort of syllabus with all of you, right? Uh, in the going forward session. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed guys, please uh, subscribe the channel and if you are liking the video, then uh, please hit the like button, please share it and please uh, support uh, to the channel. So uh, now uh, let's uh, start with the video uh, and guys, please uh, go through with this re-ranking topic and all. If you want to build one advanced rag system, definitely this uh, re-ranking and all, uh, it will help you a lot to build a very efficient rag system. If I uh, forgot something, if I didn't cover uh, something that definitely uh, you can uh, like uh, leave inside the comment, I will look into it and I will create a video on top of it. Or I'm uh, attaching one uh, form as well, where inside the description, if you will go and check now, so you'll find out one form, right? Google form. You can fill out this particular form and uh, you can fill out your suggestion, feedback, anything uh, in your mind 
with respect to the our topic content channel me whatever now coming to the explanation so uh, first of all guys uh, we'll have to understand the architecture now one more uh, thing guys uh, here i would like to tell you so uh here i'm uh, explaining you each and everything so sometimes the video is going to be long or sometimes my explanation is uh, slow so in that case you can speed up the uh, video so for better experience either you can watch it at 1.25 x or you can watch it at 1.5 x so you will get a better experience and better understanding now uh coming to the uh now here guys you can see this is the architecture this is the complete whole or uh, sort of architecture of the rag so first of all uh, let me explain you about it uh here is my data uh as you know that uh like this we always divide the data inside the chunks so uh, we are dividing the data inside the chunks and then we are generating an embedding from that particular chunks right now uh guys uh, i will create one separate video on top of this topic uh on top of the chunking itself how you can create a better chunk and with a practical okay with a practical demonstration i will show you about this chunking and all everything right now uh, after converting into the embedding guys we are storing inside the database so this entire process actually it is called the data ingestion okay so what is this tell me it is a data ingestion now after ingesting a data guys there is a second phase of this pipeline so let's say my user is asking a query so here my user is asking a query right or let me remove it from here what i will do guys i will uh, keep it over here now my user is asking a query i will convert this query into the embedding then i will perform the semantic search to my database and then i will retrieve the relevant document so guys here this this particular stage right so we are actually we are going to retrieve the document from the database that particular stage or step is called the retrieval now uh, this uh, result actually it's called rank result so this is my second stage now this is this uh, this one is called rank result okay now after the rank guys what we can do we can perform one more level of retrieval and this is called re-rank okay re-ranking so so far actually we were discussing about this re-ranking concept that after retrieving the data after retrieving the document how you can re-rank those documents but guys now uh we'll have to understand about this retriever also uh the first stage retrieval because it comes before the re-ranking and uh, i think we should i should have recorded uh, i should i should have recorded this uh, particular topic at the first place but no worries uh like later on i can arrange everything inside the single playlist and you can understand in a easiest way that is not an issue so uh after the re-ranking guys what we do we pass each and every information to my llm so that llm can understand in a easiest way right uh, all the context and all so what all thing actually we pass to the llm tell me so here we pass queries prompt and context so this re-rank result or rank result let's say uh, we are not performing this re-ranking it's not a mandatory one again i'm saying if you want to do it you can do it if you don't want to do it you cannot do it because uh, again it will add some latency inside your pipeline so sometimes actually we avoid it also we directly pass this uh rank result uh, means uh, this is also called the context right to where to my llm along with what along with this particular query which my user is asking and the prompt okay the prompt if we are going to define any specific a uh, prompt uh like just to uh just to like filter out the uh just to filter out the important information from the context based on the query definitely we can do it right and finally this is my third state this is called generation now i hope you got to know uh that uh, where this uh retrieval exists and now with respect to this retrieval guys we have a different different topics right so uh, first of all guys uh here let me show you the different different retrieval which is available inside the langchain and llama index then i will discuss uh, the very uh famous uh, retriever right or a very useful retriever from the langchain that is contextual compression retriever right so uh, let me show you the retrieval techniques from the langchain and all so here i already searched langchain retriever and i got this particular page now let me open it and see the result so uh, here vector store parent document retriever that i was talking about then multi vector retriever okay self query retriever i will discuss this one as well in my next video 
contextual compression this i am going to discuss in my today's session then time weighted uh, vector retriever multi query retriever ensemble retriever we already discussed right if you will go and check with my youtube video guys so inside that i already discussed this ensemble retriever now what is the ensemble retriever in the ensemble retriever guys we always uh, perform the retrieval based on the vector search and the keyword search we always combine this both concept and that is called the ensemble retriever okay you can check out uh you can check out over here as well now a long context reorder guys so this is also uh one of the important uh, topic right from the length chain and i already discussed this thing inside my re-ranking okay inside my re-ranking because reorder here the term is coming reorder right so first we can merge two retriever and based on the result actually we can uh re-rank the result okay first we will get the result based on the merger okay based on the merge retriever and then we'll re-rank it so already i shown you this particular solution uh here if you will go and check uh where uh let me show you this uh reorder this one guys merge the retriever and long context reorder so definitely you can run it uh, learn it from here as here itself so one more thing i would like to tell you guys here see uh if you will open this architecture right there here is my architecture now this retrieval and this re-ranking right uh it's a uh like uh it's a two different step first we retrieve the data and then this is called the re rank result and then we re-rank it but uh, at many places inside the lang chain and llama index you will find out one single class which is responsible for performing the retrieval and for the re-ranking also so this long context reorder is the same one actually so uh, there first we uh, like merge to retriever okay uh, like we can customize it now uh, it's up to me but yeah this long context reorder actually it is related to this re-ranking re because re-ranking also one uh, type of retrieval now so after retrieving the data over here okay inside the rank result again we are retrieving so this uh, uh, like uh, re-ranking is also a retriever concept i hope you are getting my point now coming to the next point over here so i shown you the different different retrieval from the length chain and couple of uh, retriever we are going to discuss which is very much important now coming to the next point here so the next one is what llama index so in the llama index also you will find out different different type of retriever uh, definitely you can check out right so couple of uh, retriever i already kept let me show you this so here guys uh let me check with the retriever guide and uh, yeah so bm25 retriever uh that is my hybrid search already i discussed this hybrid search and all okay now a simple query fusion okay so i discuss about the rag fusion and all so definitely you can check out reciprocal re-ranking i already discussed right as i told you ranking or re-ranking both is a part of the retrieval so this concept i can use this and i can use inside the tell me guys uh this uh reciprocal re-rank fusion right so after retrieving the data again uh i after retrieving the data i can use this particular concept like a uh, reciprocal ring uh reciprocal uh re-rank fusion or bm25 hybrid search and all or at the first place also means while i'm retrieving the data now at that time also i can utilize this particular concept now uh, apart from this one guys here uh like uh recently he has uh this uh like this sorry llama index actually they have included a couple of more retrieval and all so definitely you can check out uh, based on this database and all so this uh, uh like uh, document you can read from your end and uh, you will get to know many more things but these are the uh, some base uh, basic concept of the retrieval and definitely we're going to discuss over here this auto merging which i already included okay and then metadata replacement i think it is not required composable retriever rag fusion i already discussed uh definitely you can check out auto merger retriever also i discuss so from here this uh, one retriever okay which one uh okay auto merger i haven't discussed i discussed the rank fusion and uh, let me check with the video so merger retriever okay so this is the different one and that is different now uh, let's uh, begin with the video so first of all guys uh what i can do i can show you this contextual compression retriever okay so uh here is a complete solution of this contextual compression retriever and i will show you the complete uh, detail over here related to this one means uh how basically it is working how much information actually is going to be compressed and uh then uh how uh, basically it is generating my final output now uh let me do one thing so first of all let me show you one documentation here i kept two link and definitely i will show you this both link first let me show you this document so this document actually you will find out over the blog.langchain.dev 
So guys, you can subscribe this particular website so that uh, LangChain, whenever it's going to be upload any new thing, it will generate. Okay, so uh, like it will send you the notification and you can read it out over here, over this blog.langchain.dev. Okay, so uh, here they have given you the each and every information related to this document, uh, related to this contextual compression. Now just uh, scroll down. Here is a two architecture. Definitely we're going to understand this two architecture, right? Now, uh, what is the problem? So problem is uh, problem is very simple. The problem is whenever we are passing the data to the LLM, right? Based on my uh, similarity search and all. So whenever we are passing to the LLM, so there actually we are having some redundant uh, data or some unnecessary data. The same thing actually they are uh, trying to say over here. So you can read it over here. Uh, that means uh, that we get a specific user question and retrieve document even if document has some relevant text it's likely has some irrelevant text as well so if i want to remove this unrelevant text which is not even necessary for my llm then uh, i can use uh, this particular technique and definitely in your information retrieval in your rag pipeline right while you are implementing it you should imp you should use this particular technique and even in my last class also i discussed about it but yeah uh, i haven't shown you the practical and all anything now in this particular class we'll discuss in a very detailed manner with the entire notebook so here in the solution guys uh, they are saying what you can do you can compress the retrieve document and for compressing this retrieve document guys they are giving you three method so uh, here are the first method is llm chain extractor then uh, okay so here uh, they haven't mentioned okay okay here it is llm chain extractor then embedding filter and then uh, here is one of the one of uh, one more uh, implementation is there llm chain extractor embedding filter and let me check okay so just a wait uh, what i can do i can check out with the implementation okay document here is a uh, complete implementation over the length chain documentation this is the blog website this one which we have opened so here contextual compression the same thing uh, they are telling you over here as well now just look into the code so here is a complete code guys which we'll try to understand in some uh, time so here is what here is my llm chain extractor right this one now uh here uh the second one is what second one is the llm chain filter okay the third one is what the third one is the embedding filter and there's fourth one as well so let me show you the fourth uh, which i will show you inside the pipeline the fourth one is the embedding redundant filter okay i hope uh, this thing is getting clear so this is the complete code which uh, you can directly use this is the abstract abstract code abstract code means what you uh, don't know about the uh, like the uh, low level code and all the complete logic and all here you are just calling the classes and all and in a similar way actually we are writing most of the code but let's say if you want to make some changes again i'm saying uh, this contextual compressor is just a class uh, it's just a like package sorry not a class it's just a package and inside this particular package you will find out what uh, you will find out what you will find out the different different method means you can combine the different different method over here for compressing the document means you will retrieve your result based on the similarity search and all and then on top of it you can perform the different different method for compressing your information so uh, if you want to check the low level code right the low level code of this uh, llm extractor uh, or this llm chain filter or, or maybe this embedding filter so how you can check out it so guys for that uh, you can uh, visit the langchain uh, github repository they are actually they have given you each and every line of code because this repository actually it's a open source repository okay now uh, see guys you need to navigate to your uh, uh, file so what you can do first of all you you can uh, read the import statement so once you will scroll down this is the entire solution uh, i will explain you this particular solution don't worry so uh, just do one thing just try to scroll down and read out what read out this particular uh, import statement right so a uh, langchain retrieval document compressor and here you will find out this llm chain extractor so in a similar way in a similar manner you can navigate so first my folder is langchain okay then uh let me show you how uh, basically i'm going to navigate over here this is the repository then i uh, go inside this lips uh, library then here you can see there is a different different folder now you can click on this uh, langchain okay well, after this one here is a langchain folder and all the code you will find out over here itself now inside this langchain there is a retriever just scroll down you will get this retriever now inside the retriever here is a document compressor okay now a contextual compressor as i told you it is nothing it's a 
package okay it's a module so inside this one they have written like each and every line of code and we are using this particular class which is accumulating each and everything right so here if you will look into the import statement so it is going to be import each and everything from where from the retriever itself which is available inside my base retriever so uh, what you can do you can go back and here you can open this document compressor now inside the document compressor you will find out each and every file so uh, i told you that we have a various method so embedding filter you can see this embedding filter and uh, then you can see this llm chain filter then we have one more llm chain extractor do one thing then uh, open this LH chain extractor right so uh, here is a class uh, the class name is what the class name is llm chain extractor so you can go through with this particular class and you can understand about it first of all read out this one okay let me zoom in so here you can see the complete uh, detail and all with respect to this uh, particular class where it is uh just a second so yeah here it is guys now uh this is my class and see what it is saying it's saying document compressor that uses an llm chain to extract the relevant part of the document so if we are going to be uh, in like collect the important part of the document so yes, uh, you can do it for that. Actually, they have created one chain and we are just calling the chain. So if you want to understand the backend functionality, you can go through with this code. Uh, let me give you the high level overview. So first, what we are doing, we are passing. See, if we are call, like calling this compressed document. So here we are passing document and query. And then on top of it, we are calling this method from LLM. So there we are passing LLM prompt. And here is my input mean document and query. So maybe like they have written a code. So here you can read, read the code. So they, are, they have written the code. They are taking a uh, like retrieve output and uh, then they are they have written the prompt and all they are finally passing to the llm and they are performing the compression they are uh, generating a result okay based on that particular information and after getting a refining output okay then it is going to be it is returning to me the compressed information okay the relevant information see here uh like uh the same functionality uh basically you can see if you want to run it inside your local system you can run it okay not an issue with it so i hope this thing is clear uh, everything i have clarified with respect to this retrieval and all now it's time to implement this contextual compression retriever so within a uh, 10 minute i will uh finish this particular uh like implementation and uh yeah uh, i hope so far guys you'll uh, learn a lot and tell me guys uh are you uh finding out this series relevant on all if you are finding out it's a relevant one or it's a uh, like important one then definitely you can let me know in the comments sir please uh continue this particular series uh definitely i will do it and along with it i will i will be coming up with i will be coming up with a uh, many more topic like uh rag uh fine tuning we have one more uh, model from the facebook side which we can fine tune okay rag token fine tuning and apart from this one we have uh, multiple other uh, topics and all with respect to the rag okay rag fine tuning and all everything basically i will try to cover so please uh, mention inside the comment section and if you're liking the video you can hit the like button also let's uh, look into the practical guys so, so guys before starting with the practical we required some library so here are uh, three library which we need to install for uh, this uh, particular practical the first one is langchain community the second is a Langchain OpenAI and the third one is FICE CPU. Here I'm not going to use GPU. Uh, GPU is not required over here. That's why I, I haven't connected it. Uh, and uh, that's why I'm using this. I'm installing this FICE CPU. So I hope this uh, three thing is clear. Now, apart from this one, I have given you this tool more link. Uh, one uh, first link uh, basically uh, related to the uh, this uh, low level coding and all. So here inside the GitHub link, actually, you'll find out the complete code uh, with respect to each and every functionality. The second one is uh, the documentation, okay, which I already shown you. Definitely, uh, you can check out with this particular documentation before starting with this solution. Now, uh, here inside this documentation, they have given you two architecture. So don't worry, I will explain you this two architecture as well. I already kept inside my blackboard uh, so yeah definitely I'll be talking about it now after installing this library guys uh, what we required we require uh, we, re uh, we have to import it first so here I'm importing text loader files uh, Facebook AI similarity search it's a in-memory database for storing the embedding the third one is open AI embedding you can use any model uh, from hugging face from anywhere I'm using this open AI embedding then character tag split so if i want to chunk my data if i want to convert into the chunks so uh for that actually i'm using this character text splitter 
now let me run it let me execute it and here is what here is my file guys so where i kept this file so i kept this file over here inside my workspace okay so uh, i i let me load this file uh, i think i already loaded so after loading it guys uh, what i will get i will get this data inside this document okay i think this thing is clear to all of you now coming to the next part so here i am creating a chunk so in every chunk i am having 500 document and the chunk overlap is equal to 100 so we are overlapping the chunk okay so the last 100 document is going to be overlapped to the previous chunk and then what we have we have this uh text splitter dot split document we are going to split the data into the chunks okay now uh i think till here everything is fine to all of you let me show you the data how uh it looks like after the chunking so you can simply print this text and you will get all the chunks and all everything now after this one guys after collecting the chunks so see this is my uh, data the entire data inside this page a uh, content okay uh you will get all the data now uh here is what here is my uh, key okay open ai key which i am loading for lo uh, what, which i am loading for uh, accessing the model now i am setting this environment key okay this open ai key as a environment variable so these are some repetitive step we have uh, repetitive steps which, which we have already done many times hundred of times you can check with my previous video as well i have explained in a more detailed way detailed manner now uh coming back to the data guys here i am using this state of art uh, data right so what is the data name sorry this one state of the union data now let me show you the data guys so here this uh, data actually it is available in the txt format this state of the union is nothing it's a speech of the u.s president so whatever he told inside this speech so you can see the each and every uh, thing uh, basically uh with respect to that particular speech and uh, that uh, data actually we have collected now what i can do i can ask the question based on this particular data now after collecting a data what is required see here i have split it now coming to the next point so the next point guys uh i'm storing the data inside the files okay inside my facebook ai similarity search and i'm calling this as retriever so that i can perform the similarity search and all after uh creating a retriever so uh here is what here is my retriever guys so, so far what we have done uh let me show you the architecture so so far actually what we have created we have created a retriever okay now on top of this retriever what i can do i can pass my query and i can perform the similarity search see this one here is my query guys which i am uh, calling okay which i am writing and based on this particular query i can perform the similarity search i hope till here everything is perfect now coming to the next point here see uh, i will uh, run it and i will show you what all document and uh, what all document actually we are getting each and everything we'll discuss about it now uh, first of all guys let me show you this architecture that what i am uh, what uh, they are saying inside this architecture so this architecture this one actually it is uh, a same architecture okay here you can see this one and this i have just uh, drawn in this particular way right so let's uh, look into it so here let's say here is my user question now the user question actually it is going through the vector do, uh, store and based on that we are performing the similarity search then i'm collecting my vector store i'm collecting my data document and then i'm passing each and everything where to my llm and then finally we are generating an answer so it's the same architecture actually which we have learned over here now coming to the next architecture so here you can see the next architecture so in that actually what we are doing see uh based on the user question we are performing similarity search from the vector store and we are getting a relevant document after getting a relevant document guys what we are doing we are compressing this particular document based on this query okay and here is what here is my document so this is my compressor document compressor uh in uh i i've shown you the different different document compressor like llm chain extractor llm uh like filter or embedding filter and all embedding redundancy so each uh, and every uh each and every uh document basically you can assume over here okay you can uh like imagine okay so at the at this particular place uh in the place of this document compressor i can keep all those classes all those code i hope this thing is getting clear to all of you now if you will look into this particular architecture so based on this architecture also you can understand the same so after retrieving this document here at this particular place what you can do you can perform the uh compression okay compression i will show you this each and everything in the form of a uh, python code don't worry guys i'm coming to that now uh, guys one more thing so whenever we are talking about the similarity search so for the similarity search guys we have a different different mathematical method so generally uh what we use we use this uh cosine similarity right 
so in the cosine similarity actually we check the uh we check the angle between the vector okay the second uh, method which is very much popular that is dot product okay now uh, the next one next method jacquard similarity so we can use that also jacquard similarity or what we can do we can simply calculate the euclidean distance also okay so the next uh, method basically uh the euclidean distance so if you want to know about this particular method you can check out with my previous session previous session of the rag pipeline where i already discussed about this cosine similarity dot product jacquard similarity euclidean distance and all but don't worry i will be creating a separate session on top of the embedding itself there again i will discuss the mathematical uh intuition behind this all the uh, topics and all right each and everything i am going to discuss uh in my upcoming session guys now are uh, coming to the solution over here so here i have created my retriever so this is what this is my retriever now coming to the question so i am calling this retriever with this particular question now based on this question guys what i will get i will get my dogs right now what i am doing i am printing this particular document and here you can see in total okay by default actually i am getting four similar document now for printing this document i have created this pretty print method what it is doing guys so it is uh, going to separate the document okay so here you can see with this particular line uh, which i am printing and then i am collecting the page content from my answer and then i am representing over here this is my document for second and all why i have written this i plus one because the document indexing is going to be start from zero i don't want it from the zero okay that's why i mentioned one over here and because of that i am able to see my all the retrieved document so this is a pretty a simple function and yes you can easily understand about it enumerate actually it won't it will give you the number okay corresponding number along with the along with the document okay so here that's why i've written this enumerate i hope uh, this is perfect to all of you now see this is what this is my document after performing similarity search this is my retrieve result okay now what i'm doing i'm asking few more question so my next question is what retrieve dot invoke and here the question is what are the top three priorities uh, outlined in the most recent state of the address so uh, i can execute it uh, uh, let's see what i will be getting over here so here uh, guys yes it has executed so let's uh, look into uh, this particular answer and here is what here is my document two now i am executing it and here you will be able to find out all the document now if you will observe this document you will find out this document is having very vast information right it is a little huge but i don't want to provide this entire information to my llm so that what i can do i can compress this particular document right and that is what i am going to do now so here the next uh, thing is going to be guys so here i uh, written one more question how did the president propose the tech uh, proposed uh, to tackle the issue of the climate change so here i am going to run it and let's try to figure it figure out the relevant information the uh, similar information from the database now uh, if i am uh, executing it so here you can see all the four document so i am getting uh, this particular uh, data and even you can read it and you can understand about the particular question now what i am doing here so i am passing this uh, information okay i am trying to uh, augment this particular information using what using the llm so for that here is what here is my llm guys which i have uh, loaded so let me load the llm here is my uh, qh chain and inside this i am passing my llm and this retriever and then this is my query right so this query actually i will be passing to this chain and finally i will be getting my answer so this is the complete step which i am going to be follow let me check uh about what it is saying it is telling to me open ai is not defined no worries i can define this open ai just a second let me take it from here and i am going to keep it inside my different cell okay so this is my question now here i am asking my query so first it will call so first it will retrieve the result and then it will execute the um, like it will execute the answer based on this particular llm okay just a second okay chain is not defined here is a chain retrieve qa okay just a second okay where is a retrieve qa Oh, this is the one. So let me keep it over there. Uh, I forgot to write a method. Yeah. 
so this is my one yes retrieve queue is defined now uh, okay i got my answer then here is my query and here is my find the answer so see guys what i am getting i am getting what are the top priorities outline the most recent state of the address the top three priorities outline the most recent state of the unit that is what investing in america infrastructure address the opaque epidemic and creating more jobs in the economy opportunity now llm is giving me answer and it's a precise one right so whatever information we are collected we are passing it through the llm so this is the simple rack flow now let's look into the complex one so here what i'm going to do i am going to check with the results so simply i can uh, call this chain and here i can print it so see guys here is my result okay so this is my result the entire one this for compressing the document guys we required this contextual compression retriever right which is a concatenating uh, my uh, filter model and my retriever so i have uh, uh, like i have imported this contextual compressor retriever then llm uh, chain extractor and here is my open ai means my model llm model so i defining my model i think i already did it over here so no need to do it again i can remove it so yes let me delete it now uh, what i'm doing here see guys i'm calling this llm chain extractor from llm and here i'm passing my llm model getting my point so uh, let me execute this one and here is what here is my here is my compressor right which will compress the output based on the retrie retrieval so now in the next step see what i'm doing i'm passing my compressor means i'm passing the this particular chain llm chain extractor and here i am bought here i am passing my retriever so this retriever actually will retrieve the output okay from the database it will pass to this compressor means to this llm chain extractor and this llm chain extractor actually it will compress the output okay it will compress the retrieve output and then we can pass this precise information to my llm through the chain and all right the next chain which i will create by myself this uh, previously i have created now this one this one retrieve qhn okay my own chain so it's similar to that after uh, getting the compressed document i will pass to my llm so uh here see guys see uh let me run it let me execute it i'm uh, doing it so it's my compression retriever now i'm invoking it with the same question okay with the same question so see i'm asking what did the president say about the ketanji jackson brown so let me execute it and here guys you will find out uh i am getting a compressed document so if you will look into the compressed document see here is a compressed document so uh the compressed document see i'm just getting a single document over here because uh i think so uh inside this uh, particular uh document now there is no not much information is present about this particular a uh, person so that's why it is just giving me a single document after the compression see how uh, like uh, uh, effective and uh, optimized it is right so what i did guys i just checked whether it is working in a similar way for every question okay or that there is a like or uh, basically there is some fault inside the method itself right so i tested with a different different question so first of all let me delete this part i think it is not required let me show you where i have tested uh, this each and every thing over here so uh, first of all guys see uh, here is my what here is my compress a uh, retriever right this is my compress a uh, retriever dot invoke and now i am asking this particular question so what were the top 3 priorities outlined in the most uh, recent state of the union address right so uh, yes, uh, now I am asking, let's see what I will be getting over here. The same question I asked previously as well. So if I am going to execute it, guys, now this time you will find out we are getting an information, but this time not one. Okay, it is giving me a multiple result. And this result, guys, it's a compressed result. If you want to check out how much it is compressing based on this uh, number of character and tokens, I will show you that also because that is also possible. We can check it out easily. So compressed document. Now let me print this compressed document. So see, this is my compressed document, uh, which I am getting over here. Document one, document two, document three, document four, right? And this document is having a less information compared to the previous one. And if you don't believe to me, just uh, go back, okay, and check out with the same question. So here was my question, guys. Uh, this one, and just see the information. How scattered was the information with respect to this question? This this particular question just just see over here see this one 
and now if you will look into the now if you will look into the latest information which we have retrieved so see here what is my information how much compressed it is so definitely you can utilize this for creating your optimized rag pipeline now coming to the next point here see here uh, i check with the other uh, document as well uh, you can run uh, with the other queries and document so it will give you this also and yes i can print out as well now the next one is what llm chain filter so i tried with this as well llm chain filter so if you will look into the github guys there is a different different method one is chain extractor then chain filter you can check out with this chain filter you can read about the code and all see llm chain filter the same class i'm using here what i'm passing tell me i am passing my document and query and then uh, basically i am calling this method this from llm and then this is my complete code basically right uh, which it is running so yes you can check out i already given you the link now let me execute so over here uh, i am going to be run this chain filter and here is my uh, model filter llm and now here is my retriever so this is my contextual sorry compression retriever 2 and previously basically with respect to this llm chain extractor it was the first one so let me check out with this as well so whatever is fine for you you can use that one you can use that particular compressor if you want to use both you can use that also we have a pipeline right after this one i will show you the pipeline also so here is my uh, like compression retriever 2 now i'm invoking with the same query okay this one and here is my compressed document i will be getting my compressed document 3 let me check previously it was 2 yes i can uh, put it down this one and here you can see this is my compressed document so yes it is up to you which uh, one actually you are going to use now inside this one you will find out it is not going to compress much compared to the previous one it is giving you the more uh like a uh, little more character and tokens inside your uh retrieved document so yes it is up to you which one you want to use you can uh check it you can uh, make your own analysis uh, i will show you how you will do that uh basically right if you want to use both this is also possible using the pipeline method now see this is my retrieve document and here this is what basically i was talking about so using this particular uh code actually you can check how much uh it has compressed your data so uh this is what this is my uh length length of what length of this document this is my original document guys right so let me look into the original document so if i will go and check right so here uh you can see without the compressor what was my document so i think there was three variable document one document two and document three so here in the document actually i was asking about this one i'm not going to use this particular uh, document because there was a simple uh, one uh, answer okay inside the compressed one so i think that is uh, not a fruitful means uh, it is giving a very less information this compressor now uh, i tested with some other one so here i tested with this one and here you can see this uh, result i kept inside this document too so let me keep over here document 2 and let me check the number of character inside the retrieval without the compressor so what i'm doing let me do one thing let me keep this uh document 2 over here docs 2 now here is what so here uh, basically i'm collecting page content and i'm calculating the length over here length of what length of the complete sentence length of the complete context now if i'm going to be executed guys here uh, actually i will be getting the length okay so see uh, what is the length of this answer the answer length is means the retrieve document the length is 1789 character it is a character guys okay now let's check the length of this compressed document so where actually i have asked this particular question same question so let me check how did the president tackle the issue of the climate so it was the two and here you can see it was the first i think so yes what was the top price t so let me copy this particular one compressed document and here i can pass so this is my compressed information and i'm checking what i'm checking the length of it so let me put the compress our document i think it is same right okay great now here is my length of the compressed document so what is the length guys just see over here so the length is coming the length is coming 557 the same one okay previously i run it now so that it was the same so original context length is 1666 right 1666 and here uh okay where it is not this one guys i think uh, okay so this was the next code uh, yeah i think this one so the original context length was the 1789 and here here guys let me execute it so the compressed document length is what uh let me show you 557 
if you want to check okay if you want to check what you want to check guys if you want to check the difference between this compressed document length and the original length so this is a formula so what i'm doing here see original context length and then i'm dividing it with what compressed document length plus uh, i'm like uh, using this particular uh, like factor right and this is for what this is just uh, like convert into the floating point okay and here i am adding this uh, this one as well so if it is going to be zero in that case uh, like uh, it, it won't generate the error so i'm just going to be divided and i'm checking a ratio of it okay how much uh, like uh, what is this guys tell me so how much uh, basically uh, com what is a compressed ratio right so how much compressed the information is so let me execute and here you will find out so what i'm getting i am getting compressed ratio is 3.21 okay this much of per, this much percent means this information is compressed this much of percent now we were having one more filter the filter was the embedding filter so we can filter out the embedding as well okay so here i am going to be import this embedding filter here is my open ai embedding let me uh, take it and here uh, this is my embedding uh, class and now as a compressor okay what i will do guys i will be passing this embedding filter so here I'm going to be initialize this embedding filter with, with this embedding. Here I'm keeping the threshold. Threshold means what? If again, I'm going to be uh, find out what similarity score. If my similarity is less than this one, I'm not going to select that particular pair, that particular document. Let me show you how. So if you will go and check with a low level code over here. So just go and check with the embedding filter. Here is my embedding filter. Just open it, this embedding filter. And here you can scroll down, see what I'm getting. I'm getting my embedding model. Yes. Now, after getting the embedding model, here is my threshold. Okay. I'm defining my similarity threshold. I can define the number of document as well, how much I want. Okay. Here you can see. Now, here is my threshold, similarity threshold. Now, just scroll down and check with the final code. So, here's inside the final code. I think this is the one. So, inside this one, you can see it is taking a board document. Okay. It is uh, taking a board document and it's trying to check the similarity score. And then basically, it is uh, putting the condition. If there is a threshold, then I am checking with the threshold. If my document score is less than that, I am not going to select those particular documents. So, based on this one also, I can filter out my uh, data. So, uh, let me uh, run it. And here is what? Here is my uh, compressor and uh what i what i can do i can uh this is my compressor retriever right now uh, i can uh, check it out check it out over here just a second so filter is here okay here is my filter and this is my retriever and here what i can do i can i can keep it as a three this one so yes this is my third one and now i can ask the question so just a second guys let me take the question as well I think I will have to take from here itself. So let me copy the question because I will have to invoke it now. Same this one. See. Here uh, I can copy the same one and let me keep it over here. So filter, filter, filter this one and it is going to be three, third one because it's my third method now which I'm using. And here compressed document, I think it's a fourth one. Okay. So here you will find out not oh, already i created three compressed document or uh, three right this one now this is my uh just a second here is my fourth or this one this one this one guys now let me execute it and here is my compressed document four now see how much uh information actually it is compressing so this is my document and I think uh, there is no much uh, compression. If you want to check the ratio, so definitely you can check out. So what I'm doing uh, here, I am uh, checking with the compressed document four. Okay, I'm collecting the length of the compressed document. Now, uh, what is my original length? So here you can see the original document length. Based on this particular query, it is 1789. And here the length of this compressed document is, let me check, 1789. Okay, it is same. Uh, basically, it is not uh, changing uh, too much. Let me check what is the issue over here. Maybe I did some mistake or what so. Uh, here is my retriever. I'm adding filter and everything is perfect. Uh, let me run it one more time. Contextual compression, embedding filter. And then here is my retriever 3 invoke. Okay. Let's see. Let's check now. So here is my document. And uh, here is my print. 
this is my compressed document length and here it is okay so guys it is not compressing let me do one thing let me remove this threshold from here so here i am keeping let's say 0 0.50 uh just a second so yes now perfect great this is also by now this is also perfect great now pretty print and maybe now it is reducing the information let's see the length of it so this is the my original document and here is my compressed document 4 so compressed length is showing to me oh let's see guys whether it is going to be reduce the information no it is not reducing i think there is some issue guys similarity threshold okay let's do one thing let's try to remove this particular part see with respect to this particular question the information is same oh uh, i'm doing some mistake contextual compressor embedding filter everything is fine let's uh, remove it let's uh, take the by default only okay whatever value is the uh, whatever value is there the by default one so here is my compressor retriever 3 and now invoke compressor retriever 3 dot invoke guys now i think it should run compress document 4 and here is the one so just a second now here you can see this contextual length okay this is my same for the original document and now i'm checking with the compressed document 4 so let's see here is the length is same guys and here you will find out it is not compressing the document it is same okay this one and this one is same okay it's not going to be reduce it no worries guys in the next class in the next uh, video i will show you uh, with some other example and all this video actually is going to be quite long so i hope you understood it over here right if you will look into the other one now so <laughs> definitely it's going to be reduced so here here it is going to be reduced by 3% 3.21% right so this compressed ratio is 3.21% okay now how you will check the compressed ratio see original uh, original context length and the compressed context length okay now see guys over here if this is going to be increased means your your uh, differences between the original and the uh, between the original and the compressed one is too high if it is going to be reduced right means it is same i hope you are getting it but it is not possible uh, that context length uh, this complex length is a more uh, compared to this original length okay it is not possible so minimum it will be one uh, which which i am getting over here so uh, okay this is good i am getting the same one because here is it's not going to be reduced this meat i can show you that the minimum is this one only because this compress could not be less than this one getting my point i hope it is getting clear so what we can do now we can generate the final answer using this uh, compressor now one more thing guys which we can add on over here so first of all uh here uh let me uh, import this document compressor pipeline here i can uh collect uh i can connect like a different different component and all now here is what here is my uh, redundant uh, filter so if uh there is a redundancy between the embedding and all okay i can remove that as well so this uh this was the fourth one which i was showing you with respect to the filtration and all now here is what character text splitter so let me import it now here uh already we have defined it i think it is not required so um, now what we can do or let me do one thing guys here uh let me define it i can integrate each and ev each and everything inside the pipeline itself so the thing will be easy for us right so now what i can do i can define this splitter here is my embedding filter and then after defining this embedding filter here you can see uh i have uh like defined this particular uh relevant filter okay so this is my embedding redundant filter means it's going to be reduced uh it is going to be removed the redundancy and here is my embedding redundant filter now embedding uh filter okay so this is the this is done now coming to the next part so uh to the transformer actually means uh to this particular pipeline i'm passing this splitter redundant filter and relevant filter so uh, whatever document will come so it will go through with this particular stages i can add on the further stages as well over here okay so here is my pipeline compressor now i can pass it over here okay to this compressor means here i am showing you that i can accumulate each and every component so previously i shown you the uh the previously i shown you the individual one now here i am showing you with the another one another uh, like uh, another topic okay another classes like this uh, 
split like this redundant filter and relevant filter and all okay so i can combine all the one and i can pass it as a pipeline i hope you are getting my point now what i have i have my retriever which will retrieve the document and it will go through with this particular pipeline and then it will give me the compressed information inside this pipeline i can keep the other document as well oh sorry other classes as well okay other object as well like llm chain filter okay uh, or llm chain extractor i can keep those as well not an issue with it right so here uh, again i am going to be split this particular uh, uh, retriever document so this is for this one and again i am making a chunking and all here you can see that again i am going to be use this redundant filter and this relevant filter right so this each and every document i have defined i created a pipeline now let me create a compression retrieval so here is my compression retrieval now i am going to be invoke it with this particular query the same query so it will give me a compressed document let me check the compressed document over here uh what is going to be a compressed document and see it is taking some time as well because we are accumulating a different different component and all now here it is done so this is my compressed document you can check out if you want to check the length and all every everything you can check so this is my compressed document and let me check the length of this compressed document so here i uh, remove it and then this is the original length because i'm going to use the same question right and here is my length of the compressed document so see uh this is the length and here i am getting this 1779 okay so it is not reducing too much but yeah it is redu reducing little much so you can see the compress ratio so the compress ratio is 1.01 .01. and after what so here is my compressed document and the same uh, variable actually i am going to use now this is my result okay which i am getting uh okay 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 guys so here you can see it is giving me multiple document and there actually we are just getting four document that's the issue no issue i can uh, mention the k value as well and we can generate the uh, relevant document now after this one what i will do i will define my uh, llm okay this is my retrieval chain and this is my uh, compression retrieval i'm passing over here instead of the normal retrieval and finally i am going to generate my answer and here is my uh, relevant result guys so see this is my result which i am getting and yes it is uh, pretty much perfect so yes i hope you like this particular video you learn a lot and this is the result from the uh, the retrieval one the normal retriever one fine so thank you guys thank you very much and later on we'll learn about the uh, how you can uh, evaluate the pipeline or uh, this rag pipeline and all everything uh, we're going to discuss inside this tutorial and all in the upcoming tutorial so until guys thank you bye bye take care guys